church girls want to get married too good morning it's about almost seven o'clock in the morning i just want to come on and do a quick video um president trump and first lady melania trump uh came over the news that they are covid um positive or that that they have the covid welcome back thumbs up share this out if you can if you are a born again believer and you are happy that the president has the COVID check your salvation if you are born again and you're wanting the president to die from COVID check your salvation if you're born again and you walking around talking about this is karma check your salvation the bible declares and you need to uh study with us on my channel so the bible one year in timothy it says pray for all for leaders for kings for presidents for senators mayors all in authority so that it will be well with you this is why i am so against uh being a republican or a democrat because I believe it causes you to compromise. Um, I believe it puts you in a place and in a boat where you need to choose either side. And if you you on the other side, then you need to hate this person on this side. And if you're on this side, you need to hate that person on the other side. How many of you, that is not God. Jesus said, a new commandment I give to you. He said, I did not come to destroy the law. <coughs> Excuse me. I came to fulfill the law. We could not keep the law. And so the Lord Jesus Christ, the son of God, the manifestation of God in the flesh, came through 40 and two generations to do what we could not do is to keep the law. He kept the law. He says, the new command I gave to you. That mean I have fulfilled the Ten Commandments. I kept the Ten Commandments. You don't have to keep the Ten Commandments anymore because you couldn't keep it. I kept it for you. And so now I'm giving you a new commandment. Love. Love God with all of your heart, mind, soul, body, and strength. And love your neighbor as yourself. And so what that tells me is if I don't love my neighbor, like I love myself, born again believers, born again, Romans 10 and 9, if you will confess with your mouth, the Lord Jesus Christ, believe in your heart, God risen from the dead, you shall be saved. If you are a born again believer and you cannot love your neighbor as you love yourself, you have to check your salvation. If you are a born again believer, I'm going to just keep it at born again believer. And you cannot pray for and love Trump the way you prayed for and love Obama, check your salvation. If you are a born again believer and you did not love Obama, pray for Obama the way you're praying for Trump and love Trump, check your salvation. This is why I don't believe as born again believers, we should be on either side of the aisle because it causes us to compromise the word of God. And so on my social media, on YouTube, I'm in a couple of other Christian channels and they're on there talking about this karma and good hope he die. And I mean, pastors, do you understand? Pastors that I came up under, pastors that laid hands on me, pastors and prophets that was prophesying in my life is praying and saying, I hope the COVID take the Trump out. Go ahead. Where is your salvation? Now, I'm not saying agree with the president. I'm not saying you're, you're a tr Trump supporter. I am saying, as born-again believers, the Bible is to be the final authority in our lives. And we live our lives according to the scriptures. And 
so this morning, born again believers, check your check your salvation. Look in the mirror, check your salvation. You ain't got to tell me. You ain't got to tell nobody. Just just be have a honest conversation with yourself. Do I hate this man? Do I want this man to die because I don't agree with him politically? I ever read, I hope he dies so Biden could be president. You don't even know what, what you don't even know the basics of politics. Anything happened to Trump, Vice President Pence steps in. And there's an election coming up. If, God forbid, anything happened to President Trump, Vice President Trump Pence will be the president. And if the election goes into Trump, Trump uh, favor, and Trump is still in, 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 incapacitated, or God forbid anything happens to him, Pence is president. And Pence can get to run two more times. So you don't even know the basics of politics, of the foolishness that you're talking about. This is why we need to read, and this is why you need to make the Bible the final authority and pray. I'm not saying you agree. I don't. Mm. When 2016, when God told me Trump was going with the president, and he said, write it, because I'm a writer. I was afraid. I'm I was scared for my life. I wrote it, but I was like, I ain't gonna, I ain't putting that. I told my husband, told my pastor, took about, I ain't gonna write that. And then, then the word in Habakkuk came to me, write the vision and make it plain. And I realized to myself, why am I afraid of because of what something God told me? I didn't say Trump was going to win the election. God told me Trump's going to win. Because I couldn't see how was that possible. To this day, to this day, to this day. I don't even know how. I know how. And then I had to write the book and I published it the Saturday before the election. The election was Tuesday. I put it in writing on ebook. Uh, look it up on Amazon. It's called Donald, uh, the phenomenon, the God gave me the, the title, the phenomenon of Donald J. Trump, the GOP nominee. God gave that to me. And as this is what I'm talking about, men and women, and you have, I had so many people mad at me and the prophets and all the pastors, people I came up with prophets. I mean, true prophets. I know now was saying God said Hillary was going to win. And then Trump went, did nobody repent? Did nobody come back? Did nobody say nothing? And this is what I mean when you cannot be on either side of the line. You need to be, um, you need to be in the center and be the light. Be the Christ. Because if God says Biden or Trump, no matter what side of the aisle you are on, God wants you to speak what thus saith the Lord. And there's a lot of people, prophets of past I came up with, they hated Trump and they said God said Hillary was going. And that's not what God said, but they said it because they hated him. And I don't know how you say it, prophesying laying hands, preaching, talk about love, and you hate somebody, the president. Now, you know, we say in the chat, I love you, but I don't like you. You know, I like your person. Me, I, I, you know, I like to be around you. My sister, Sandy, girl, I love being around Sandy. I pick her up for work. We drop her off. I, we go to break. Uh, we walk, break on each other. We go to, I like her. I love her, but I like her. And then there's some people that I don't really like you, as in I don't like to be around you. I don't like to talk to you, stuff like There's a difference, okay? But you don't hate the person. I just don't want to be around you. I don't want to go to have coffee with you. I don't want to spend no extra time with you. I don't want to go get my nails done with you. I would prefer to read a book than hang out with you. There, I do believe there is a difference, okay? But you don't hate the person. 
And so to my born, my born again, okay, anybody else can do what they want to do. But to my born again brothers and sisters, I'm telling you, kneel down and have a talk with the Lord. Because I, I really believe that the presidency of President Donald Trump is to check the believer's salvation. Allow us to have a heart check. I love and pray for President Trump like I love and pray for President Obama. Because I realize if I did anything less, my salvation is in jeopardy. There's no way I could love and pray, and pray for President Barack Obama and hate Trump because you don't agree with him. Not for the believer. Anybody else can hate and take sides. For the believer, your side is the word of God. And so I encourage you, my brothers and sisters, today, check your salvation. Don't argue. Don't but he, yeah, yeah, uh-uh. Check your salvation. Have a heart-to-heart -heart with God and say, God, help me. Help me. Help me to love. and speak well off. These are the things in your life that cause you to realize, am I really saved? The proof of you being saved is love. The proof of you being saved, you want to say, everybody, ben, I used to be, use Ben Laird. God don't love me anymore, who me a believer, than he did. Ben Laden. He loves us the same. Let's use Trump because a lot of people hate Trump. God don't love me anymore than he loved President Trump. It's the same love. He loved me the way he loved Trump. Because he's hated. I'm using him because he's hated. He don't love you more than he loved Trump. He loved everybody the same. He died for all of us. Jesus came for everybody. So none that would be lost. And if you want somebody to go to hell, check your salvation. That's all I'm going to say. I love you. I have to go. I got to go. I got to go. Um, my book is available on Amazon, The Naked Wife. Uh, in Christ I Am is also available. 23 Types of Guys You Might Me is also available. The the tr Donald J. Trump, the GOP nominee, is $1.99. It's like 32 pages. You could read that in 30 minutes. God told me that Trump was going to be president for 2016. 2020, I didn't get any prophetic word. I have an idea, but um, I didn't get a prophetic word. Okay. So I love you. Let me know what you think just based on what I say. I don't want to hear nothing about he did this, he did that. What do you think about what Jesus said? Love one another. That is the proof of your salvation. Do you need to have a, some, have a talk with Jesus? All right. I love you guys. I have to go. I have to go. I have to get my day started. All right, bye.